Okay, my YNR fans, we got to talk about today's episode. Nick is urging Sally to figure out what she really wants. Jill is furious and she wants some answers about Nate's betrayal. And Devon and Nate are battling and arguing over Neil's legacy. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for October 19th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So we left off with Adam over at Crimson Lights after Sally called him. Adam joins Connor and he tells his son how much he and his mother really loves him. And Connor doesn't think that his mom loved him the way he used to. It feels like she's far away. Now, Adam promises him that he is his mother's heart and soul. And she's just going through a hard time right now, you know, and it's not his job to make it better. Now, Connor suspected this got something to do with Johnny. And he thinks, wait a minute, we're already a family. We don't need him. And if she misses him so much, she should have never given him up in the first place. Now, Adam is trying to come up with some type of an explanation, and he says that they both wanted to raise him, but there's a lot of changes and complications in the family. One thing that's never going to change is how we love you, Connor, according to Adam, and he will always want him to come to him. Now, one of the reasons his mom told him the secret about Johnny is because she was scared of what would happen if the secret came out. And then this is when we see Chelsea arrives just in time to hear all of this conversation. Now she does interrupt. She tried to hand her son his backpack and Connor is not happy to see her at all. So she sends him to go get a pastry while she talks to Adam. Now Chelsea tells Adam that she'll fix her son not thinking that he's good enough for her. Adam was like, eh, I don't know if it's going to be that easy. So then Chelsea and Adam, they step out on the patio. He thinks they need to bring in a professional to kind of help their son process this whole situation with Johnny. Now she's afraid she'll get all of the blame, but agrees that, you know what? You're right, Adam. Now Chelsea feels ashamed for failing her children, but is going to do whatever she has to do for at least Connor's sake. In the meantime, she wants Adam to help her with something. She needs him to stop being judgmental. He insists like, uh, I haven't been. And it's time for her to stop seeing him as the enemy. Now, Connor comes back out. And at this point, Connor is like, you know what? I need to go to the ranch. And then, of course, he heads to the door, barely returning his mother's love you. Boy, this is a bad case. But... Chelsea, you got to blame it on yourself. You made a lot of mistakes when it came to this whole Johnny situation. So let's head over to Chancellor Winters. Lily and Billy is discussing how betrayed they feel about what Nate did. He expected this from Adam. And I'm like, Billy, really? Do you have to bring up Adam all the time? But not from a decent guy like Nate. Now he assures her that this isn't about her about whatever it is is going on between Nate and Devon. And she admit the worst thing about this is that she really believed her family was not like the Newmans or the Abbots. It turns out, eh, I guess they're not any better. Now, Billy wishes that the, he could do more to help and kind of want to stick around until this IPO goes through because if you walk away right now, after Nate being fired, it's not going to be a good look on the company. He want to support her, support his mom, while this company is all in shambles right now. And she doesn't want, to, you know, to hold him back from the next step in his life. So Lily thinks that he deserves to find his path just as much as she finds her. And at some point, they have to let Jill know that he's stepping away, but not right now. And Billy has already sent his mom an email about the whole Nate situation and has a feeling it didn't go over well with Jill. And neither one of them are looking forward to speaking to her. So when they open up this video call with Jill, Jill is demanding to know how the heck did they let this Nate situation happen. 
She never dreamed that Lily's family would be the downfall of the company's legacy. Jill never saw Nate as a threat, but then again, she said she wasn't working beside him every day like they were. Now, Billy stands up for Lily, but his mom is not convinced. Now, Lily appreciates the defense, but she is the CEO. She wants to take accountability and knows that there's no excuses. Nate has been fired, she said. He can't sell his shares. There has been no permanent damage yet, but Billy now gets a text message from Victoria reminding him that they were supposed to be spending some time with the kids in the park and his mom and girlfriend encouraged him to go. And Jill was like, kiss my grandbabies when you see them. So Billy heads out. As soon as Billy left, Jill asked Lily what she is still concerned about. Now, Lily explained that she and Devon are both concerned about Tucker's return. Even if he's not the person Nate is conspiring with, there is clearly sharks in the water. And Jill is still determined to drive ahead with this IPO. Wow. Now, over at Chancellor Park, Chelsea is sitting there remembering this whole fight that she had with Connor while trying to convince him how proud she is of him. Billy shows up and asks how she's doing. Now, she is absolutely sick of feeling sorry for herself. And Billy hopes that, you know, just stay strong. But Victoria, by the way, and the kids are on their way and I'm going to need you to leave, pretty much is what he told Chelsea. And she didn't give him any flack. She got up peacefully and she was like, okay, I understand. And she hightailed it out of there. So over at Newman Media, Sally and Nick discuss how protective and nosy Summer is before the conversation turns to Adam. Now, Nick admits to paying a very hungover Adam a visit on the roof, and Sally confesses to seeing Adam after the mis misunderstanding with Connor at the coffee house. Now, once Sally admits that she feel kind of guilty that Adam is falling short of being a parent, Nick argues that whether Adam is a good dad or not is on him. Even so, Sally feels like Connor blames her for Adam's sadness. Now, although she knows, you know, that Adam isn't her responsibility, Sally won't like to watch him suffer, though. Now, Nick warns that he doesn't want to make things more complicated and add that, you know, maybe he should step away if Sally is still conflicted, which she is. Nick also points out that they definitely have chemistry, but that's just not enough. And Sally agrees that, yeah, it doesn't change the fact that she needs to figure out, too, what she actually wants. And finally, over at Nate's penthouse, he's acting like Chancellor Winner's takeover plans weren't personal. Yeah, okay. Now, Devon disagrees and point out that he heard from Memorial about Elena leaving town. Nate wonders if Devon is trying to act like Victor Newman now with private investigators hired to stalk people. Now, when Nate asks if Amanda knows about Devon stalking his ex, Devon insists, man, you being ridiculous. Now, Devon complains that Nate's trying to make this all about himself and play the victim. But Nate bring up his hand injury again and confess that he'll probably never forgive Devon for that. Nate also ran about Devon inheriting a billion dollars to launch his company, but Devon goes back and say, I worked my way up to the uh, companies before I got that money. Now, although Devon just wanted Nate to respect his final word, Nate set out to destroy his family legacy instead. Once Devon brings up Neil, Nate suggests that maybe nobody can ever live up to Neil and their past partnership. Now, when Nate says Neil wouldn't want Devon holding on to a ghost, Devon fires back that Nate doesn't have any idea what Neil would want. Now, after Devon say Neil care about his family more than anything, he insists that Neil would never have forgiven Nate if he was still here. Now, Devon ultimately walks out, slams the door as Nate stood there looking crazy and irritated. So it looks like Nate is going to have even more lessons to learn. So we got to stay tuned to see how all of this unfold. And will this family come back together? We'll have to wait and see. 
Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Wednesday, October 19th, 2022. If you haven't checked out the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye.